Hey everyone, I am Nitej and in today's tutorial, we are going to dive into creating smooth and engaging root transitions in React using CSS and custom hooks. So today, we will build an application that demonstrates how to animate root changes in React. We will focus on using CSS keyframes for fade in animations and will encapsulate our logic in a custom hook for a clean and reusable approach. So without wasting any more time, let's get started with our code. So this is a React project with a couple of components already set up, which are about and home. In app.js, we have the use routes hook with which we are setting up the routing for these two components, home and about. Right now with the routing set up, there is no animated transitions for any of these root components, which are home and about. And that is what we are about to do. We will integrate root transition animations for both of these home and about root components. To do that, the first thing that I will do is to create a new folder for our custom hook. So hooks and then create another folder inside it. So use animated root. Now inside it, I will create a new file with the name index.js. Now the first thing that I will do in this index.js is to create a function with the name const use animate root. This is going to be an arrow function. And let's also export it as a default module as well. So export default and then use animate root. Now inside this hook function, let me zoom in a little bit more. Inside this hook function, the first thing that we will do is to set a default animation class for the component which is going to use this hook. So for that, I'm going to use a state variable. So I'm not use actually const and then animation class and then set animation class. The default value that I will be using for the animation class value is going to be root enter. Now, apart from the state variable, because we will be using keyframes for this root enter class, we have to make sure that when the keyframes have ended, then we are setting a blank or an empty value for this animation class. So to do that, let's first create the classes so that you will be able to better relate what we are about to do here. So I will open up app.css file. The first thing that I will do over here is to create a keyframes. So keyframes, the identifier is going to be fade in and for from, I'm going to use the opacity zero and for two, I'm going to use the opacity as one. And now let's create our root enter class. So dot root enter. Over here, we will simply use a single animation property. So the keyframes that we will use is fade in. The duration is going to be 0 0.5 seconds and it is going to animate with an ease in ease in out effect and then it is only going to run forwards let's just save it now notice that we are using 0 0.5 seconds as the animation duration so we are going to use the same duration in our hook as well so let's open up our hooks file again let's first import use effect from react and then use effect Hold on, use effect. For the callback function, I am going to first create a timeout. So const um, timeout id equals to set timeout. And with this set timeouts callback function, we are simply going to set the animation class as an empty value. And for the duration of this, or for the you know delay of this timeout, we are going to use 500 milliseconds, which is going to match with our animation's total duration, which simply means that when the animation has ended, then we will remove this, um, this class from the um, root components parent element. And then finally, let's return a function for the cleanup. For the cleanup, we will simply call clear um, hold on clear timeout and then we will provide the timeout id as an argument finally from this hook we are going to return the animation class 
Now to use this hook with the root components, all we need to do is to first open up the um, home component and import use animate route and I'm just going to fetch this animation class value from the um, component function. So const animation class equals to use animated uh, route or root, however you want to say it. And then in this div, I'm just going to set the class name, set the class name value as animation class. And I think that is everything we need to do. Now let's test our code if it's working as expected. So let's click on home. So home is animating, but about is not animating. Now let's copy and paste the same logic into about component as well. So for about, I am going to import the import use animate route. And then let's just, you know, copy and paste this stuff because it's going to be same anyways. So class name is going to be class name, save it. Now let's test for both home and about. So about, so home is animating and about is also animating. Notice when we are switching or trying to switch to the same route, then the animation is not kicking in. This is because we have not applied the animation on the routing level. We have applied the animation on the component level, which simply means that if the component is going to re-render, then only it is going to use the animations, which is controlled by our hook use animated route and that's pretty much everything about building this animated routing in react you can switch between different animation types like instead of fading you can use a simple left to right transition based on your app's requirement so i hope you found this tutorial helpful and it adds a new dimension to your react applications if you enjoyed this video and found it useful please consider subscribing it really supports the channel and helps me bring more content like this to you. Thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe for more tutorials and tips in web development. This is Nitej signing off and happy coding.